ASCOM is different from typical uh, philanthropy, uh, typical uh, donations, as it were, in that uh, typical donations uh, and uh, acts of philanthropy uh, address a problem on a medium-term basis. There is no real sustainability. Whereas where we are concerned, we look at the needs, we look at ways of addressing those needs in a manner that uh, will prove uh, sustainable. We engage the poor for a variety of reasons. Uh, first and foremost, as a response to a humanitarian need. We cannot uh, uh, countenance the existence of people who are extremely poor uh, in an environment in which we are uh, active as a corporate citizen. So that is the first uh, response. The second uh, uh, reason why we have to engage the poor is that, uh, in fact, they are human beings. They find themselves disadvantaged uh, in many, many instances through circumstances beyond their control, through circumstances that are not of their making. And the idea is to recognize the potential that lies in them. They are the human beings that will be net contributors in the political economy uh, in our country, and we would like to cultivate that potential. In due course, we uh, would like to believe that we could actually cultivate leadership from amongst them. We could uh, also, as a provider of products and services, cultivate amongst them a very, very important uh, market. That market may not uh, come into being overnight, but medium to long term, they wind up being consumers. So we have to engage them, develop them in a manner that uh, uh, enables them to become consumers f for our products and other products. Longer term, we would in fact be creating a market for ASCOM, we'll be creating a market for suppliers of electrical goods, we'll be creating a market for uh, even the cottage industries. So longer term, it has a massive a positive effect. Uh, medium term, neutral, long term, phenomenally beneficial for the region.